Leaders always need to communicate in challenging times more frequently. I don't know how you judge a company. Most likely, to a large extent, it is the same way I do. By the interactions you have with the ordinary, everyday heroes, those who open your taxi door, check you into the hotel, or welcome you with a smile for a 6 a.m. breakfast. As an executive speech coach, I often challenge my clients to find examples of everyday heroes that dramatize the value of their company or just common decency. I could regale you with stories from my clients' presentations of everyday heroes who came up with ideas that saved or made their companies huge amounts of money. Many years ago, I was interviewing a wonderful woman who worked for Sprint, Nancy Albertson. I doubt if she remembers me. I will never forget her. During my research process for the speech I had been hired to speech for a conference, I asked the conference chair if she had an example of someone with her company who came up with a good idea. She told me, Nancy Albertson came up with an idea that's already made us $17 million. When I called Nancy, I asked just for my notes, what is your title? She said, Patricia, I'm just a secretary. I guess you call me a big gal with big ideas. While listening to her idea, she said, You know, Patricia, I am the only person in the history of Sprint who received a second award for the same idea. It's a lot tougher to come up with ideas that make a company money rather than save money. I was curious about all the winner's acknowledgement and rewards. My curiosity overcame my British reserve. I asked, just between us girls, don't you ever fantasize? What if they gave me one percent? Her reply was a lot more gracious than my question. Patricia, we do fine. It's such an honor and a privilege to work for a company that actually cares what I think. In your leadership presentations, do you include stories of your everyday heroes? Good luck with all your communications.